Welcome to the Exploratorium in Second Life. The Exploratorium is just that, a place to explore both scientific and mathematical concepts. For example, you can examine the concept of pie on a stack of pies, engage in brain challenges, observe three-dimensional optical illusions, all while having a little bit of fun. So come join me as I explore the Exploratorium in Second Life. One of the first things I noticed while cruising around was that there were a lot of activities for Pi. For example, this placard, which had some information on the concept of Pi, broken down in numerical form. And it also had these two posts with circles near it. And the concept behind this was that each vertical pole is the same length as each circle. And so you can see on the right that three circles is just about enough to create one length. Now if this isn't glorious, I don't know what it is. We have Darth Vader reciting all of the digits of Pi. Six, nine, three, nine, nine, three, seven. Here is another visual representation of Pi, the Pythagorean theorem. Now it's time for some brain challenges. This activity here asks you to choose two, three, four, or five dots, which will then begin to slowly, randomly scatter about the board. Your job is to track them as they slowly fade into the green color, as you can see here. You will then be scored on how well you are able to identify the five dots. I was happy with these four out of five. Another interesting part of the Exploratorium are these three spheres. And as you enter them, it creates an illusion that you are in space. And you can actually look around at the stars in this particular one. Similar to the planetarium in San Francisco. This chair, when I sat in it, allowed me to view another optical illusion. Well, maybe it's not an optical illusion. I mean, that is a triangle, right? Upon closer inspection... Ah! We've been had again. Another optical illusion. This room is another cool optical illusion. By sitting on this dot, it appears that the room has a normal perspective, right? The ball on the right is simply much larger than the sphere on the left. But when we walk over to it, we indeed see that the perspective of this room is greatly warped. And the size of each sphere is actually the same when we compare it to my body. Moving on, here is the three-dimensional optical illusion showing what appears to be cubes stacked, but actually is just a two-dimensional object folded up. This one looks interesting. Let's sit in this chair and see what happens. Looks like a woman's face, and as it rotates around, let's see what happens. Ah! Hold it right there. Her eyes, her mouth. They're upside down. Notice when we looked from it from this perspective, we looked right side up, as the brain compensates for the lips and eyes. So that's a brief tour, but there's much more to see. I highly recommend that you take a journey to the Exploratorium in Second Life. You may even find out what these golden little yellow dots do. So take a trip. You'll enjoy your time at the Exploratorium learning some math and science in a fun way.